Guys, you need to come and help me find some of these baseballs, please. Look, I'm sorry, but if we don't find any baseballs, we can't practice. You guys have been hitting too many home runs. Hey guys, the Mozzie Villain, and welcome to episode 11 of the Silicone Stalks on the Baseball Journeyman. And today we are going to be playing Quick Foot Emma's, no, Quick Emma's Foot uh, in the Dutch League. You can see we've got off to a really, really good start. We're absolutely flying. We're hitting home runs for fun. You can see here, 10 home runs. I think we hit 4 or 5 on the whole of last season, and we're going at 2 home runs a game right now. Carabello and Bernardina are absolutely flying. Uh, the pitching is just incredible. The bullpen, would you believe, has not thrown a pitch yet. That is how dominant we have been. We did, however, manage to lose one game, uh, and I'll get you quickly caught up on uh, on how we've been doing here so you can see. Now, of course, we left off uh, opening day with a nice 11 to 1 win. Uh, no, sorry, that, that was opening day, was it? This was opening day, a 3-1 to one win. Spoiler alert, we won game 2, 11-1. to one. Absolutely domination. Uh, absolutely dominated, I should say. Not domination, that's uh, poor English, isn't it? Uh, but the, the, the headline here is Bernardina, who is the best player in the league by an absolute mile. Three home runs he hit. It was a club record. It was a league record. It was absolutely amazing. Three home runs from four at-bats. Six RBIs as well. Uh, and we also had Carabello getting his first home run for the club in this one. Um... Absolutely amazing stuff. Profs went the uh, went the distance uh, for a complete game. Seven hit, one run uh, performance, which was excellent. Game two, or oh, actually it was game three, wasn't it? We did manage to lose 2-0. It was a complete opposite. We really did struggle with the bat. It wasn't a terrible performance. Uh, Martis, his first uh, game for the Storks. Gave up two runs in eight innings pitch, nine hits. It wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't particularly bad. It just... We didn't do it with the bat, unfortunately, for that one. Then we played DSS. We won game one, um, 7-0, to zero, uh, which was nice. Obviously, we got four runs or six runs in the first two innings, as you can see there. But again, the star of this game was the starting pitcher, uh, Almonte. Nine innings, one hit, three walk, complete game shutout. Absolutely amazing from uh, from our young, uh, is he Dominican Republic, I think? Uh, yeah, so he did absolute uh, business there for us. We did, you may notice, make one change. Uh, Kurt Smith has come in, or Kurt Smith, I should say, has come in. That plays a designated hitter instead of DeLima. Um, he just didn't do quite live up to his spring training form, old DeLima. Uh, so we won game one. Game two was postponed due to poor weather, so we'll come back to that later in the season. And then game uh, two of the series here, we won again. Uh, there were four home runs in this one, which was obviously incredible. Uh, we just quickly scroll down here. We can see it was Carabello this time with two of them. Um, and then Martina, the catcher, got a home run, just about his first hit of the season, and he sent it over the fence. And Rick Kuypers, of course, uh, designated hitter for us last year, pinch hit. One hit, one home run, absolutely incredible stuff. And again, props, complete game uh, on a four hit, one run uh, complete game. So just amazing stuff again. Um, and then we played the first game in the series against Quick Foot, no, Quick Emma's Foot, who are, if you looked at the standings previously, they were joint with us at this stage uh, with uh, five wins and one loss. And we, we beat them quite comfortably, to be honest, uh, in game one here. Um, we did enough with the bat to get the job done. Uh, Urbanus led us off in the first, the first innings, yeah, with a home run, which was always nice to see. Um, and Amonte, a complete game shutout. Three hit, uh, two walk shutout. So he's just absolutely just dominating the league right now. Uh, now today it's going to be Max Profs uh, that gets the ball. So we'll see that against, uh, as I said, quick Amos foot here. Um, you can see if we look at the standings that we are we're half a game ahead of uh, both them and uh, the Pirates. Uh, uh, yeah, the L and D Amsterdam team. Uh, that obviously the half game is because we had the game against DSS uh, postponed. So we've got a game in hand as well, and we're still top of the league, which is absolutely incredible stuff. Quick look at how everybody's been doing. As I said, the bullpen has not yet thrown a pitch. Uh, starting pitching has been incredible for us. So there's the ins and outs to everybody's stats there. If you want to have a longer look, um, just give that a quick pause. And the lineups, we have uh, got the expanded roster now. So we've been able to call in uh, Lutmeyer. And we've also been able to, I think he was the only one we called in, to be honest. Um, just an extra catching option there if we were to need it. Uh, I, th I think that what that'll do is it'll give us an extra pinch hitting option as well if we have a third catcher. Um, so that's why we've called him in. There's everybody's hitting stats for the season. You can see Kuipers, one hit, one, one bat. One at bat, one hit, one home run. Perfect. I mean, just just uh, quit there to call it the season, mate. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's excellent, excellent stuff. And Bernardina is honestly the best player in, in the league. He, he's, he's hitting home runs. He's bunting. He's stealing bases. He's doing everything. All right, let's get down to some baseball. Let's go play a quick Emma's foot. Let's have a look at the team we're sending out. 
And this is it. Uh, Nick Urbanus will lead off for us playing at second. And in the right field, it's Johnny Bladell batting second. Roger Bernardina, the star of the team, bats three in left field. Carabello, the first baseman, cleans up. It's Kurt Smith at uh, designated hitter at five. Ryan Jackson, the shortstop at six. Quillen DeVint moves up the order a little bit into seven uh, at third base. Dayton Bagel continues at center field, batting eight. And Martina has dropped down the order, the catcher, batting nine. As I said, it's Max Prox who gets the ball for us today. We're up against a new challenge today. First time this year we faced a lefty. Um, so we'll see how we go against uh, Johan Rafella, I guess you would pronounce that, um, this season so far, ERA of four and a half, so you know, let's hope we can get uh, a little bit more than that out of him. A couple of uh, names that we might uh, be familiar with, uh, Philip Brandell, of course, our shortstop last year, we face him today, um, and of course, Seb Fisher, uh, who is somebody that has uh, been, uh, been um, sort of contacting me uh, via the internet, so... Uh, Seb, if you're watching, mate, I hope you have a terrible game today, and then you can pick up after this. Let's get them play some ball. And here we go. We are away from home for this one, so it'll be an interest, interesting double test. In fact, we're up against the lefty and away from home. It's uh, Urbanus to lead us off, and Nick Urbanus. Excellent start to the baseball game. Lead off single, and more of that, please. Boys, it's going to bring up Johnny Bladell now to face uh, Rafila. Uh, Bladell batting 217 this year. A bit of a slow start, but he's slowly coming good. That's a walk. That's two on with no one out for Roger Bernardina. And let's see what he can do against the lefty. Now, obviously, he's going to be a little bit weaker versus a lefty. Uh, but you wouldn't know it looking at that. He's cracked that down to the right field fence. That's going to score Urbanus. Is it going to score Johnny Bladell? I don't know if he's quick enough. He's turning. He's coming home, and he's going to get there. It's a two RBI double for Roger Bernardina. He's too good for this league, I'll tell you that. And he's injured on the play. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Hopefully, that's nothing too serious. Marlon comes in to play uh, in left field now. It's going to be Francesco Carabello, and I'm hopefully that's not too serious. Carabello pops one up. Marlon will have to get back to second. And I'm really, really worried about Bernardina now. He's an old man. He's, he's almost my age, so we'll have to see if he bounces back. Kurt Smith now. It's a swinging bunt. He's not going to get on, I don't think, on that. Oh, he does. It's uh, no play for the second baseman. And we have runners at the corners with one out, and it's going to bring up Ryan Jackson, the shortstop, batting 2-11 this season. And let's see what he can do. Full count. He has grounded probably into a double play. Okay, run, Ryan. No, that ends the innings for us. But two runs, an injury. And uh, three hits. So I guess we'll just about take that. It brings Max Profs up. And if he has a good day today, we've already got enough runs to win the game. So let's hope he has a good day. One and two is the count on the leadoff man. Ground ball straight to uh, Carabello at first base. Easy play. One away. Uh, so Kuipers has come in to play the game in left field. So why would we have pinched run with a very slow Marlin? That doesn't really make sense to me anyway. You've just got to love Barry Larkin sometimes. He makes no sense, and that's why we love him. He just keeps us on our toes. Profs hits uh, DeVito. It brings up uh, Van Hoek. I'm sure I've nailed that pronunciation. That could be a double play. It's Jackson over to uh, Urban. It's not the best throw to Carabello, but we do turn the double. Gets us out of that innings, and we end the first with a 2-0 lead. Brings Quillen de Vint up, batting 200 this year. First pitch action from him. Come on, Quillen. He has hit that quite well. That's a little bit less a Carabelle. Not Carabelle. Who did that? Bernardina, didn't he? Right down there into that right field corner. He slides into second with the leadoff double. And that's the Quillen de Vint we uh, came to love last season, isn't it? Excellent stuff. It brings up Dayton Bagel batting 200 this year. One and one's the count on him. He has hit that really well. But unfortunately, left field hasn't have to move. And that is one away. Brings up the catch-up Martina batting 200 this year. What can he do? Martina grounds at the shortstop. It's going to get the runner over to third, but it also is going to be two away. And Nick Urbanus now is going to have a chance to drive in a run here. Come on, Nicky boy. First pitch action from him. Urbanus hits it really, really well. He does drive in the run. It's 3-0 to the Storks. And this is the second best team in the league right now. We're doing this too. Excellent, excellent stuff. Johnny Bladell now to keep things moving. He, of course, walked last time up. This time he has... Grounded it to Seb Vischer, and that will be the end of our innings. But that's all right. We add an, add, add an extra run onto the lead, and Max Profs will come back out now to face Engelhart, who is batting 444 so far this season. Full count on the leadoff man. Sits him down. Excellent stuff by Profs. 
brings up Rosaria, who is batting 231 so far this season. One and two is the count on him. Another strikeout for Profs. Excellent stuff. That's two now for the match. Philip Brandell, of course, formerly of our parish, batting 154 so far this season. Two and two is the count on him. And Brandell sits down as well. What an innings that is for Max Prof. Three strikeouts, 3-0 three lead, and it's Ricky Kuypers now. Last time, the only time he's batted this year, he sent it over the fence. This time, not quite as good. Is he going to get an infield hit there? Run, Ricky boy, run! No, just out. And that is the first out of the innings. It brings up Carabello. Already four home runs, eight RBIs this season. What can he do? He walks. They're scared of him, and rightly so. That is the slowest man alive at first base for Kurt Smith. One for one today, batting 533 this season. Kurt Smith cracks it to Brandell. Brandell makes an error because that's what Brandell does. <laughs> that, everybody, is why we wanted to upgrade at shortstop for this season. And that is two on, one out for Ryan Jackson. Now, he double played last time up, didn't he? Full count this time. He walks, loads the bases. And it's Quillen DeVint now with a chance. One for one after his double last time out. Full count again. And he walks. They walk in a run. It is 4-0 to the Storks. Still loaded bases. Still one out. And it is Dayton Bagel now with a chance to drive in some runs. Only one RBI so far this season for him. He walks in another one. That's two RBIs for him. They're just making it a little bit too easy for us right now. And it is Martina with a chance to drive in some runs. Only two for him this year. Three and one's the count. Are they going to walk in another one? No, Martina's hit it really well. Is that going to be a grand slam? Oh, Martina! A grand slam for the Storks. It's 9-0 in the top of the third. Max Profs is never in a million years going to give up this lead. But a grand slam from the catcher, Yaro Martina. And that is, what's well, the second Grand Slam we've seen, because Bayez, of course, hit one at the end of last season, didn't he? And Urbanus now to face the new man. And I tell you what, if we're getting into their bullpen this early, what's the record score in the Dutch League? Urbanus, he strikes out for two away. And it brings up now Johnny Bledel, 0 for 1 today with that walk, of course, in the first innings. 2 and 1's the count. Bledel up the middle, that's a hit for him. A two-out single. And it's going to be Rick Kuypers as we bat around in the third innings to see if he can keep this party going for us. 0 for 1 today, of course. 1 and 2 is the count. Kuypers, he's hit that well. Ricky Kuypers, it's the second home run in three at-bats for Rick Kuypers. What a season he's having. Bernardina who? It's 11 to nothing to the Storks. We've scored eight runs in the third innings. And this is an absolute demonstration by the Silicone Storks. A second home run for Rick Kuypers. And it's Carabello now to continue things. He's 0 for 1 today. He walked last time up. 2 and 2 is the count. And Carabello strikes out to end a mammoth. Third innings. 8 runs across the plate on 11. We've only got 8 hits all game. <laughs> there we go. With the 11 runs. Of course, they did kind of walk in a few there as well, didn't they? And it's Max Profs with the most comfortable. He could, he could pitch 5 or 6 games, I think, he could defend this lead over the course of 30-odd uh, you know, innings. So they're absolutely no chance. I'm jinxing this horribly, but they're no chance of getting 11 runs off Max Profs unless he gets injured and our bullpen absolutely shits the bed. There is no chance of them winning this game. That said, he's walked Seb Vischer. Corrin comes up. Is that double play territory? We turn one, we turn two, and it's just a little bit too easy right now. And again, a reminder, this is the second best team in the Dutch league we're doing this to right now. Now, over the course of a season, it may well prove to be LND Amsterdam or Curacao. But right now, this is first versus second in the table. And Kurt Smith gets us underway with a single out there to right field. Wonderful, wonderful stuff by the Silicone Storks. Ryan Jackson, who's 0 for 1. He walked last time up. Full count this time. Ryan Jackson! No, little bit excited there. That's been popped up. Left field should make the catch. And Kurt Smith will stay at first. One away. Brings up Quillen DeVint. He's 1 for 1 so far today. First pitch swing from him. He has popped that up. Pitch is going to make a simple catch, or is it no? The second baseman coming in, and that is two away. Still with Smith at first. This is outrageous. We haven't scored a run yet this innings. Dayton Bagel, 0 for 1. First pitch swing from Dayton. He has got it up the middle. Is Smith going to get to third? He is not. He's going to stay at second. Probably a good call in the end there. And it's up to Martina, of course. Grand slam hero last time up. What can he do this time? Martina. He has popped her up, and outrage, we have not scored a run in the top of the fourth. It's still 11-0. to zero. 
and it's going to be Max Profs to come back out and continue what has been a very, very good outing for him so far. Here we go. That has been hit to Jackson. Makes the play over to Carabello. And Carabello makes the error. And there is a base runner on board for... And it was Carabello dropping it as well. So it's a Carabello error. That's that's poor. All right, come on. Let's get this back now. Strike out for Profs. There goes... The, uh, now, the, the veto got on base last time, I think, didn't he? I missed the, what, his, uh, what his thing was over here. But anyway, it brings up Van Hoek, the catcher. He's 0 for 1 today. First pitch, they've gone for the steal. Martina has no play. And there is a runner in scoring position for them. Profs, is he angry? Two and two. He's angry. That's another strikeout. Excellent stuff. Two away now for Engelhart. Now, he is 0 for 1 today. They're batting 421 this season. Obviously, a decent hitter. He's hit that, popped her up. It should be caught by Jackson. The shortstop's coming across. Third base takes it. DeVint. And that ends the bottom of the fourth. Still 11 to 0. They are still yet to get a hit. And Nick Urbanus now to lead us off again. First pitch swing from Urbanus. He has grounded that to Brandell. Brandell this time makes the play. And that is one away for the Storks. Top of the fifth. Johnny Bladell now comes in. What can he do? Bladell grounds at the first base. That'll be two away. And... Are we just taking our foot off the throat a little bit here, I wonder? Kuipers, of course, already with a home run today. Another first pitch swing. If they, if you like it, you swing, boys. That's the, the way we play, isn't it? And there we go. That is a single for Rick Kuipers. And I tell you what, he's he's making sure that we don't forget that we have him in our team, isn't he? Uh, with Bernardina potentially, well, we don't know how long he's injured for yet. It is good to see Kuipers coming in and getting the job done with the bat because we may, we may need him. Um... That's sort of the, the sad truth of it right now. All right, Profs to continue. We don't score anything in the fifth. Another strikeout for Max Profs to lead off the bottom of the fifth for us. How many strikeouts is that now? Seven for the match. It's Brandell, of course. Again, formerly of our parish. Three and one's the count on him. That's the ground board of Carabello. That is the second out. And it brings up the governor to face Profs. He's 0 for 1 as well. 1 and 2 is... Sorry, 2 and 1 is the count. And that should be an easy play for Carabello. And that ends the bottom of the fifth. Still 11-0. They are still yet to get a hit. And it is Kurt Smith to lead us off. Two for three today. And just an insane batting average this season as well. Oh, Kurt Smith. He's hit that well. Is that? No, it's just sat up there. And it's going to be caught out there in left field. For a wonderful second that I thought we were seeing home run number three of the ball game. Jackson now to continue. One and one's the count on Jackson. He's popped that up into left field. Left field's getting a workout this innings. But that's a simple catch for him as well. And that should bring up... Is it Bagel that's up next? No, Quillen DeVint is up next. He's one for two today, batting 227 this year. Full count on him. Quillen DeVint walks. And that is a one-out runner at first for Dayton Bagel. One and two's the count. Sorry, one and one's the count. One and two for the day. Dayton Bagel pops it up. And that'll do it for the top of the sixth. But that's all right. We can live with that. It's going to bring Max Profs back out to face Seb Fisher. He's 0 for 0 today. I think he's got, what, two walks, hasn't he? He might get a third walk here, you know. He has popped her up, and that should be caught out there. Bagel coming in, and he does make a very good catch. Well, not a very good catch. He makes a catch. Uh, there's no such thing as a bad catch, I suppose, is there? Uh, Corrin now comes in. He's 0 for 1 today to face Max Profs. What can he do? Grounds it down there to DeVint. Picks it up. Nice throw over to first, and that's two away. Brings up Julian Rip. He is 0 for 2 so far today. 1 and 1's the count. He has played it there to second base. Urbanus doesn't have a play. And that is the first hit of the ball game in the bottom of the sixth for Quick Amersfoot. Um, it's going to bring up Chris DeVito, who's 0 for 1 today. Two out, runner at first. Popped her up. Bagels walking around casually. Should make a simple catch. Maybe like behind the back, sort of a trick catch. But uh, makes the play either way. That's the end of the sixth. It's still 11 nil to the Storks. And we begin the seventh with Martina. Grand slam hitting hero, of course. What can he do? He has got a base hit. Leads us off with a single. I'm assuming it's just going to be a single. Uh, yeah, runner stays there at first. It brings up... Oh, we're, we're, we're pity hitting. Ventura now, the youngster, gets the chance to play second base for uh, Urbanus. He is one and two at the plate. What can he do? He strikes out. Oh, come on, Ventura. Are we going to keep the pinch hitting going? No, Bladell stays in the game. Full count on him. Bladell. 
strikes out as well. And it's going to be Rick Kuypers now continuing. What can he do? He is two for three today. Had a wonderful game at the plate. And he's hit that really, really well. But first base makes the play. And that is the end of the innings. We stretch. And it's been a little bit boring since the third inning, hasn't it? We got all that work done early. And we seem to have taken the rest of the afternoon off at the plate. That's okay. Max Profs to continue. Seven strikeouts to Van Hoyk, who I don't think has got on base yet. Maybe a walk. But that's going to be an easy play for Jackson. Over to Carabello at first. And that is that. So Ventura has stayed in the game at second base for um, for Urbanus. One and two on the man at the plate, Engelhardt. Now he struck out twice already today. That's been hit quite well though. And that will be a second base hit of the game for uh, Quick Amersfoot. And with one out, runner at first, it's uh, Chiron Nichols to the plate. He's pinch hitting. He has not yet bat batted this season. They're... Uh, well, they're pity hitting as well, aren't they? Giving some of their bench guys to go. That's a strikeout, though, for uh, our, uh, for our Monte for Prof. Seven now. Another pity, pity, pity pinch hit. Uh, as they well and truly show that they have given up on this one. That's uh, hit well out there, actually. A very good hit uh, to the fence. Is that going to end our, uh, our shutout? It just might. And it is... Well, I think the run will still count, won't it? So it has ended the shutout. It's an RBI for the pinch hitter. It's 11 to 1. Our Monte... Uh, our Monte. Why have I got our Monte on the brain? Profs loses his shutout, which is a shame. And it is DeLima that comes in to pinch hit for Carabello. We didn't see the best of Carabello today, unfortunately. DeLima gets himself a base hit. Nicely done. Nicely done. Maybe he's just a little bit of a pressure off sort of a guy. That is uh, DeLima at first with a hit. Uh, it brings up Smith, who is two for four today, batting 500 for the season as well. Full count on him. That's low, and that's a walk. And that is two on with no one out. And are we set to... Uh, have they angered us by scoring that run? Ryan Jackson, 0 for 3 today. Only batting 182 this season. Jackson grounds it up there. Is that going to be a double play? Oh, run, Ryan. He just about beats it out. So just the runner at second uh, done. So it's one out. Runners at the corners. And it's uh, Eugene Helder, another one of the youngsters. A young third baseman that comes in the pinch hit for uh, DeVint. What can he do? Helder, back up the middle. That's going to be an RBI for Helder. Excellent, excellent stuff. And, uh, yeah, you love to see that. A youngster getting himself... Uh, an RBI. 12th of the uh, 12th uh, run of the game for us. Bagel to continue. Three, uh, one for three today. Runners at first and second. Bagel, it's uh, not great. Is he going to be able to beat it at first? Yes, he is. Helders out at second. Two away. Runners at the corners for the catcher, Martina. Let's see what he can do. Martina, back up the middle. That's going to drive in another run. Five RBIs now for Martina. Excellent performance from him. It's 13 to 1, unlucky for some, and it's Ventura now with another chance to drive in some runs. Come on, I love to see the youngsters do well. Unfortunately, though, oh no, he hasn't struck out. He has got a hit up the middle. Is that going to be an RBI for Ventura? It is going to be an RBI for just for a second, then I thought the throw was going directly home, but Ventura with an RBI single. It's 14 to 1. Uh, Ventura, with, that's our first hit of the year for him as well, which is excellent. And it's Johnny Bladell now with two out. Runners at first and second. What can he do? Two and two's the count for Bladell. He's hit it really well. Right field going back. Is it going to leave? Oh, it just kept going. Johnny Bladell with a home run. It's I'm losing count. I'm out of fingers and toes. It's 17 to 1. It's an absolute rout in the honk ball, honk Klassen. It's a three-run home run for Johnny Bladell. It's an amazing performance from the Storks. And it's Rick Kuypers to try and keep it going. One and two's the count on him. Bases emptied. Two out. And that is another hit for Kuypers. He's having one hell of a game. If he can keep this going, if Bernardina is out injured, then that's going to be, as I said earlier, a wonderful thing for us. It's DeLima who's one for one today. What can he do? DeLima with another base hit. Oh, this is... An absolute demonstration by the Storks. Two out. Runners at first and second. We just keep batting. And it's Kurt Smith now. Two for four today. What can he do? Two for, yeah, two for four today. What can he do? He has grounded at the first base. That will probably do it. But another mammoth innings in the eighth. Six runs across the plate. And it's going to be... Uh, if we're going to keep with going with profs, we are going to keep going with profs. And another pinch hit uh, for them. Another guy that has not batted yet this season. One and one's the count. That's been popped up. Johnny Bladell, I'm assuming he's still out there, should make the play. He does. 
A couple of defensive changes we should look at too. We've got uh, Delima here at first base, Helder now at third, uh, and everybody else there looks the same. I'm surprised we haven't made a change at catcher, actually. Give uh, Dyke or um, uh, Lugmeyer a chance in there. Ground ball there to the shortstop. That is two away. And here we go now. Profs to face Warwood. Another pinch hit is it? Yes, it is. This guy is, he's batted already this season. He's uh, batting 500 from his two at bats. Make that 333. Another strikeout for uh, for Profs. How many is that now? Has he hit double digits? And it's going to be Ryan Jackson for one last time in the ninth to lead us off. Can we get to 20? It's a full count on the shortstop. And he walks. Lead off man aboard. It's uh, Eugene Helder who of course got an RBI single last time up. Two and two is the count this time. He has hit into a double play. Oh, Eugene. Silly, silly stuff, and that is two away, base is emptied, and it's going to be Dayton Bagel now. One for four today, what can he do? Two and two's the count on Dayton. Come on, mate, come on. He's hit it well. Second base does not have a play, and that is another single. That's the 20th hit of the game for the Silicone Storks. And Jurian Dyke, we do make a change at catcher. He gets the chance to hit now. Two out, runner at first, what can he do? Full count. Oh, Dyke! He's absolutely crushed it, and that might be an RBI as well. Now, Dyke is not the quickest, but it should bring in a run. It's an RBI double for Jurian Dyke. What a way to pinch hit for the catcher. It's 18 to 1. We do get a run in the ninth, and we just keep going. It's another chance for Ben Shura. He got himself an RBI. I think it was a double last time up. Two and two's the count. Two out, runner at second, and Ben Shura strikes out, but... We do add yet another run. It's 18 to 1. It's a, it's, it's a cricket score. It's not a, it's not a baseball game this anymore. Profs to continue. 1 and 2 is the count. No one on. No one out. And that should be 1 out. Helder over to Delima at first. And that is 1 away. Profs with 9 strikeouts for the game. They just keep pitch hitting these guys. Can he get to double figures? 1 and 2 is the count. He still can't quite get there. That's Jackson's ball over to Delima. That's 2 away. The final out of the ball game. It's Profs to Creamer. Another pinch hitter. What can we do here? Full count. Oh, and it should be an easy play for Jackson. Over to first. There we go. That ends an absolute rout. 18 to 1 for the Storks. Are you not entertained? What a performance that was. We go well and truly clear at the top of the division now. Uh, and this is shaping up to be a very, very memorable season indeed. Uh, for the silicone stalks. Now, do we have any sort of idea on this Bernardina injury? Uh, it's day to day. Oh, it's fine. It's not a problem. Three days, he'll be back. He'll miss game three of the series, uh, but he will be back. Uh, well, well, it's not long term. That's the main thing there, isn't it? Guys, that is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, and if you haven't enjoyed that, then I, I mean, maybe you're a pitcher and you're going to have nightmares after that performance. Uh, but that was really, really excellent stuff. I think what we'll do is we will come back. Do we want to come back for L and D, or is that a little bit too soon? Um, we played them later on the season. Okay, so what we might do is we'll come back for Game 3 of Curacao. Uh, they, of course, are the defending champions last season. Game 3 will mean we'll get to have a look at Martis, the other starting pitcher in our rotation. Um, and then we'll, we'll sort of go from there. But we'll make sure we show L&D Amsterdam at the end of the season. Um... So yeah, we'll definitely get a look at them before the season's done. But there we go. That's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next Saturday uh, for some more Storks Baseball. And if you are looking for more baseball during the week, we have uh, the Toronto Blue Jays series Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And of course, a reminder, we do the Baseball Journeyman Saturdays and Sundays. Until then, guys, open on Thank you so much for watching. Take care.